October 9, 2023. Ukraine war, approximately nine years and eight months into the invasion of Crimea. Day 593 of Special Putin's operations. Big picture. Ukraine counted 34 ground engagements over the last day. Ground combat on the contact lines continues to show Ukraine making attacks around Zaporizhia and south of Bakhmut. Over the last month, Ukrainian defenders continue to expand strategic strikes against Russian assets. Kremlin ground attacks continue to primarily be around Donetsk and north around the Oskil River region. Kremlin air attacks have grown since the beginning of September, while Ukraine appears to have lost some number of its fleet and has seen a reduction of air strikes. Dnieper Line Very little has changed in this area in weeks, excepting for those poor civilians which the Kremlin continues to daily shell. Some definition of contested area on the left bank was replot by the Deep State Mapping Group. The firming of previously flooded lands at the river have yet to bring any major changes to the line. Zaporizhia Front. Ukraine has been making gains in this area at high cost. On the Dnieper, south of Kamiansk, Ukrainian troops expanded the contested zone against a brigade of Spetsnaz. South of Orykiv on the western edge of the Robotine salient, Ukraine has noted it has made an expansion of the contested zone towards Kopani. In the last two days, on the east side of the Robotine breach, Ukraine appears to be fighting to take Kremlin troops on the high ground, north of Verbov. Ukrainian attacks at the Morky Yoli appear to no longer be of interest to Ukraine, and Kremlin attacks here also appear to have stopped. East Front, Donetsk. The Kremlin has been making serious attempts to steal land on this front, from the bend at Voldar, to Marienka. Russia has been making numerous attacks which neither side has announced with much fanfare. These attacks have expanded the areas Ukraine considers contested, especially around Novomykhailivka. Further north at Avdiivka, Ukraine not only repulsed numerous attacks in the last month, they pushed their lines back into mortar range of Donetsk airport. Bakhmut area. The last month saw the Kremlin making advances in the north, near Vesely. In the same time, Ukraine was making sizable advances eastward beyond Klishchivka and Andreevka. As of the last deep state map update, Ukraine holds the major road into the center of Klishchivka, as well as the rail line at Andreevka. Oskil border front. In the month of September the declared Russian offensive to take Kupiansk stalled completely. The 100,000 Kremlin troops and 1,000 armored vehicles made very limited and expensive gains in the hills and fields west of Svartov. With the exception of Ukraine making claim to the destruction of another Kremlin general and his staff around Bilarivka, Kremlin troops made no gains there either. The addition of the Russian 164th Mountain Motor Rifle Brigade brought no obvious changes. Northern border. The last month saw drones striking Kremlin targets across the Russian west. In the Kremlin's efforts, dozens of Ukrainian civilians were killed by indiscriminate rocket and artillery attacks. The Free Russian Armies went back into Kursk, an attack that was not missed by regular Russian civilians and soldiers. Black Sea. The Russian Black Sea fleet has fled the western side of Crimea, taking almost every combat and support ship of the Russian Navy out of Sevastopol. It is believed this was done, in part, because Ukraine dropped multiple missiles on the Russian Black Sea fleet's general, and his command staff. The destruction of a submarine and landing ship in dry dock probably aided this choice. Ukraine spent a month making bold attacks with small raiding parties and regular drone and missile strikes on Kremlin targets across occupied Crimea. With the Kremlin's missile launching ships moved further away, Ukrainian ports have reopened to freight ships willing to take the risk. Ukraine world related. The US, exactly as Vlad Putin predicted, has turned toward coward with their support for Ukraine. Despite arguably the best economy the US has seen in decades by earnings both corporate and labor, the US Congress has proven incompetent in keeping any single focus. Europe has also slowed its assistance to Ukraine, in part because of a spat between Poland and Ukraine, and in part because some EU leaders don't yet seem to understand that the Kremlin will actually be after them shortly. However, the long-awaited F-16s are somewhere nearby, Ukraine has signed a series of contracts to produce arms internally, and even shy Germany is sending more Patriot missile batteries. We aim to bring more. Like and subscribe.